Still a bit mixed, but there you go, Cecilia uh, Daly. By the way, our gardener Garth is coming in and he's talking cherry blossoms or early summer concerns. So it wouldn't be a Friday without a, a bit of time in the company of uh, GarethAustin.com to check him out. Well, as I say, mostly uh, between now and three, music, uh, but as we bring you some of the very finest bands and artists who are here for the City of Derry Jazz, a big band festival to give it its proper uh, title. So a mini jazz festival of sorts, Twix now and three. And we start our sessions today with a top ten album chart, uh, charting swing rock band. This is George Patterson and the Roaring Forties. <laughs> The Secretary of State was half a Patterson. He was a single. He was a single T man. Oh, yeah, I understand it. That's more, that's Peter's thing, isn't it? No, he was P A T E R S. George, good to see you. Thank you for thank you for having us. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. Tell us, you're no strangers to Derry, so tell us about the lineup that you're bringing this year and your your feelings coming back. Uh, it's the same lineup um, as we always. We have people like to see the same people. I think it is. Um, um, we uh, it's playing in the same sort of places. It's fabulous here. We love it here. We're playing in the uh, City Hotel on Sunday night. Tonight we're at Dunlow, 
John Lord Warren, yeah. Four hundred eleven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, what's and the uh, River View. River the River Inn. Inn. The River Inn. Yeah, right. We've never played there before, so we're looking forward to Those that. Those are three good gigs. You, they will be yeah. from the rafters in all three. I, I, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. City Hotel Sunday night. That'll be huge. Uh, yeah, that's that's always a very very good one for us. But the other building up nicely as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's um there was a, quite a lot of people last night in the um in the metro. Yeah. That was very Always good. Always popular. Uh, and, um, and, and I mean, we've seen that grow up over the years from when we started playing there. It was like just a few people yeah, there. Yeah. And now that's getting busier and busier. Is it because we're not a massive city, George, that it does work? I, I think it, it feels like it works because everything's beside each other. It's Kind of. It's our favourite festival. We play in Norway and... Um, uh, that's all, isn't it? We just we're born to play in Norway <laughs> and here. <laughs> we just like very... <laughs> We, we, play no, we play in other places, but um, this is our favourite. Oh, Ken is on sax, by the way, and Anth Cayley on, on the keyboard. Great stuff as well. Um, what's your story? I'm always interested in what brings him out to the front of a swing of a swing band and stuff. What's your own story? Um, fame, fortune, uh, women. Uh, but um, That was short. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to forego all that, of course, and just concentrate on trying to sing the best that I could. Yeah. Uh, no, um, it's, a, what is it? it's trying to make your mark. That's what it's about, I think. Life is about, I feel, trying to make a mark. Mm -hmm. And um, I, my mother used to sing, and uh, my uh, my brother taught me to play the guitar, and it, it just went that way, really. And did you feel you had the makings of a singer as a lad? No, I, I always wanted to. I knew a lot of musicians. I used to hang about with musicians. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I wasn't a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> so you always joke at children with you. I used to hang about with a lot of musicians, yeah. um, and, uh, and that was all great. And they used to do a lot of it, but I, I never really got involved with it. I used to do some recording. I learned to play saxophone, mm -hmm. and um, then I and then I went to engineering. And I was an engineer. I was a draftsman, mm -hmm. and um, I worked for this company as a design engineer for them. And then I split up with my wife, yeah, as, as as happens occasionally mm -hmm. in life. And um, I decided to um, that I'd like to try music. And away you went. So I did. So I moved over to Ireland, and uh, I started the Royal Porters up with this other guy mm -hmm. who had the idea, but we didn't get on. So um, I fired him. <laughs> I, I know it's always that kind of story in music, you know, behind the scenes. Because then, when, when it comes to showtime, you know, everything's fine, everything's good. People are looking fantastic, sharp jackets, shirts. But always behind the music, there's always a story, isn't there? Oh yeah, there's other, lots of other things going. Yeah. Like, and I hate him. He was saying, he was saying as well. Is that what he said as well? He said that, yeah. Oh, you didn't. You said you loved me. <laughs> he hasn't got, the man doesn't have a that... microphone to defend himself, is he? <laughs> George, I'm delighted you're here. Thank you. Thank I'll you so much, you. We've got another number. What's your second number going to be? Uh, we're going to do um, Under My Skin. I'm going to say to the people, is we're never sure if Under My Skin is a love song or a disease. <laughs> And there's a request. Somebody's telling me there's a request. Did you have a, something that you had to get out to? Yeah. No, what's his, what's his name? Ninety-seven year old. Um, I don't know. I thought it was your request. It's it's, on it's Eddie Davis, is it? It's Eddie Davis. Yeah. Eddie we got Davis. I got a call this morning from his uh, from his grandson and his daughter, who both live in Cork, okay. saying uh, it's his ninety-seventh birthday and could we mention it? Uh, and so I want to say happy happy birthday to him because he's like he used to play for um, used to play for Derry football team. He's played for Cork. He's also been um, a band manager, isn't he? I, I, I believe he just lives around the corner. And he just lives in Argyle Street. Yeah. Well, Eddie, this so, one's uh, for you. Yeah, so this next song is for you. George, grab the uh, microphone. We're set up here. We're kidding out with the live uh, rig in the Centre Studio Radio Foil uh, today. If you want to catch the Roaring Forties with George and the boys on saxophone, Ken Marshall, on keyboards, Anth Cayley. Tonight in the Dunlow Bar, quarter to 11, that'll be... Moving, I would say tomorrow night down the river in city centre, 11 o'clock, and then the big one Sunday night, City Hotel, one of the big, maybe the most prestigious gig uh, to get uh, in the city's hotels, in the city hotel itself, half past mm. 10, Sunday night live in Studio George we'll Patterson. Have crisps and things. And the roaring 40s crisps. Oh, we'll have crisps and sweets. Or well, yeah. crisps, what, what, sort of, cheese and onion. Uh, well, cheese and onion, all sorts, actually, because there's like many different tastes out there. Well, your people can talk to my people. <laughs> the roaring 40s. I've tried so hard to get 
Tonight, it's uh, the Derry Jazz Festival, of course, Dunlow Bar, Roaring Forties with George and the boys. River Inn tomorrow night, late on, 11 o'clock, and then City Hotel Sunday night. You'll be lucky to get a seat there, half past ten for the boys. Fantastic. 712-266-522 is the number of this programme. And uh, between now and three, we'll have the four of us in live as well. They happen to be coming through on Jazz Weekend. 
old favourites of Radio Paul, probably one of Jerry Anderson's favourite acts down the years, I, I hate 